We've got a very special guest waiting by. Lots of developments happening in the sector. Rajiv Kumar, he's the shipping secretary. He's waiting by for a chat. Lots of developments, really. A whole host of reforms are underway in the shipping sector. The progress of mega projects like Sagar Mala as well to take stock of. Mr. Kumar, good morning. Thank you so much, sir, for taking time out and joining us today. Good morning. Okay, let's start off with, you know, some of the key priority areas and reforms that you at uh, the ministry are currently working on for the shipping industry. Yes, uh, thank you very much. I think uh, you have rightly pointed out that uh, in the last three years, this uh, ministry and the sector uh, driven by the vision of our Honorable Prime Minister and the dynamism of our minister, uh, we've been uh, seeing a lot of action and a uh, lot of uh, initiatives which uh, were planted during the last two and a half years have uh, now they are taking roots and uh, in the next few years you will see them flowering. Now s starting with our flagship program Sagar Mala, as uh, you are aware that this is a, a very ambitious plan uh, which was approved by the government for an integrated development of all maritime related activities. You are aware that we have almost 7500 kilometers of coastline. Uh, we have about 14500 kilometers of navigable waterways and uh, geographically our country is blessed because uh, it is situated at uh, a place where most of the major maritime routes pass by. So, there is a huge scope for tapping into all these and Sagar Mala program intends to do exactly that. Walk so, us under the... this program we have uh, four major pillars. Yeah. Yes. No, so I just wanted to come to that point and I guess, uh, you know, you preempted my question. So, can you walk us through the phase-wise development plan of Sagar Mala project because it's not for the first time linking of rivers has been discussed. I mean, this has been a, a project which I remember was also flagged off by our previous uh, Prime Minister, Mr. Atul Bihari Bajpayee, when he was the uh, Prime Minister. Yes, uh, there is, I think, let me first of all explain what uh, the Sagar Mala uh, program is about. Uh, it has two, uh, it has total four components. One of course is that the port capacity has to go up, their efficiencies have to go up. So that is uh, the first pillar. The second pillar is that relatable to the ports, we should try and cultivate port led industrialization and development because that cuts hugely into the logistics cost which is one of uh, the major issues challenging the economic growth in the country. The third component is connectivity with the hinterland because unless the connectivity with the hinterland uh, is improved and the transportation cost brought down, uh, the competitiveness of our exports, imports and domestic transportation would not improve. And last but not the least, the one of the fourth and major component is the development of the coastal communities because we cannot expect development without taking these communities along with that. So, all these four components are included under Sagar Mala and uh, the national perspective plan was unveiled on 14th April 2016 in the first ever Maritime India Summit which was held in Mumbai by the Honorable Prime Minister. Now, based on that national perspective plan, uh, we have come a long way and uh, under the plan we had projects more than 400 projects with a cost of almost 8 lakh crores which were to be implemented over the next 10 to 15 years. So, what we have done is that we have identified 199 core projects which we will be taking up in the next 3 years under the Sagar Mala program. And the total cost of uh, these 199 projects is 3.31 lakhs. And I am happy to report that we have started work on projects 
of more than 1 lakh crores which are either being implemented or will shortly be launched. Okay, that's great to hear. Tell us a little bit more then Mr. Kumar, what's the vision around port connectivity with freight corridors and you know linking inland waterways uh, that you're currently working on? Right. I would like to uh, also uh, mention that uh, the Sagar Mala program originally was uh, envisioned by our uh, the then Honorable Prime Minister Mr. Atal Bihari Bajpay and the other program which has just been uh, mentioned about linking of uh, rivers uh, is a separate program which the Water Resources Ministry uh, looks after. But on the integration, I think uh, you are absolutely right. One of the key issues in uh, moving, moving things smoothly in the country and for exports is an interlinking of all modes of transport. And uh, from that perspective, you are aware that uh, the western dedicated freight corridor is now slowly coming to its completion. And uh, we are now working for providing of spur lines to the major ports on the west coast. The line in any case will terminate on JNPT and uh, our uh, effort is that all other major ports along that corridor uh, should be linked to the western uh, dedicated freight corridor. Now we have uh, started a concept of multimodal hubs. And I am happy to report that uh, in Varanasi, we are bringing up an inland terminal for waterway no national highway number 1, which will have connectivity with two national highways. It will also be connected to the railway line and interestingly, because Mughal Sarai is presently the last point of the eastern dedicated freight corridor, Inland Waterways Authority, which is implementing the project has an MOU with the dedicated freight corridor corporation so that that can act as a transfer point for all cargo which is going further towards Haldia and Kolkata and this would be an interchange point. Similarly, at other places also for example, at Paradeep and Vizag and all other ports, we are looking for developing these multimodal hubs with connectivity into the hinterland and uh, this concept is only going to grow. When will we see the first movement on these projects? You know, I am afraid so a lot of these projects as of now on paper, for them to see reality and for them to really become part of, uh, you know, India's infrastructure, a lot of work needs to be done. When do you think the first, uh, you know, brick will be moved? Uh, I had just mentioned about Varanasi and coincidentally I had visited the terminal which is uh, being uh, built at a very fast speed in Varanasi. I would uh, request you also to, uh, I invite you to join and see the position there at site and we are very hopeful that by end of uh, 2018 uh, this terminal will be operational. So, it is not that these plans are on paper. As I said that almost 1 lakh crore worth of projects are already on the move and uh, we expect substantial movement on the ground by 2018-19. All right, uh, Mr. Kumar, appreciate your time. Thank you for joining us and so wonderful to have you on ET now. It has been a pleasure and thank you for detailing and you know breaking up uh, what your ministry is planning to do. So, I certainly hope to see much more of you. and. Uh, uh, I'm sure it's been a delight for our viewers to understand that what exactly your ministry is trying to achieve. Thanks a lot. Uh, it has been a pleasure and I, <clears throat> I think there is a lot more to share and a uh, lot more action on areas like cruise and LNG for shipping, etc. Uh, we are all working on it at a very fast pace. Thank you and have a good day to you and to your viewers. Thank you.
Thank you very much, sir. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash etnow and don't forget to click the like button. You can also follow us on Twitter at etnowlive. To stay updated with all our programming, hit the subscribe button on our YouTube channel by logging on to youtube.com slash user slash etnow.